in a college where I literally say I was born and brought up. And uh, although it's been 16 long years when I had my internship day, but in this and at that time the auditorium didn't look so pretty and we also didn't look as pretty as you girls are looking. So you're smashing it today, each and every one of you. You look beautiful, radiant and full of confidence and smiles, right? Uh, I'm going to congratulate each one of you on your very, very special day. Apart from that, this is a day where no doubt you're celebrating and I'm sure that each one of you is looking over certain memories, yes? Some memories and challenges that you overcame, yes or no? Yeah. Are you talking Difficult times when you thought that this is it, maybe I'm not going to cross this, yes? And then you did and then came another challenge and then you crossed that one too and then there was another one. So you know, uh, it is something to be very proud of that you have overcome all that and you have reached this phase in life where you are going to now pursue your dream. It is definitely very exciting and you should get ready for facing more challenges but be confident that you are going to come out shining and you are going to do exceedingly well in life. जब मैं यहाँ बैठी थी इंटर्नशिप डे में एंड ऐसे ही किसी को बुलाया गया था हमसे बात करने के लिए एंड टुडे व्हेन यू नो आई गोट एन अपॉर्चुनिटी मैं सोच रही थी ऐसा क्या था जो मैं तब सुनना चाहती थी राइट फ्रॉम समवन अ लिटिल सीनियर टू अस इन टर्म्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंसेस एंड व्हाट दे बीन टू सो आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू इन वेरी शॉर्ट फोर इंस्टेंसेस इन माय लाइफ ओके दिस फोर व्हिच एक्चुअली चेंज्ड माय एंटायर लाइफ एंड प्रॉब्ली हैव कॉल्ड मी इनटू द पर्सन दैट आई एम टुडे and those four instances are not something which are very great those were four probably big challenges to me that i faced and you know every time i faced them i was pushed to rock bottom and then you realize that no you could come out of it the first challenge ho sakta hai aapke sath bhi aisa hua ho i'm sure each one of us have actually been through some of those phases The first one was when I was in school, okay, and this is something that I vividly remember. Uh, until I think class eight, I was a very, very average student, and I mean it when I say that. Probably in some subjects, you know, average as well. And I always wanted to be a doctor. The reason was funny at that time because my entire family was engineers, so I decided that I would not even try because it was so cliche, so boring. बट उस टाइम पे दो ही चीजें होती थी या इंजीनियर बन जाओ या डॉक्टर बन जाओ सो मैंने सोचा कि ये सब इंजीनियर है सो आई बिकम अ डॉक्टर सो आई डिसाइडेड बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली एज आई सेड आई वाज एन एवरेज स्टूडेंट एंड प्रॉब्ली इन सम प्लेसेस बिलो एवरेज इज वेल बट नन दी लेस आई वॉन्टेड टू बी अ डॉक्टर एंड आई डेंट नो हाउ हार्ड इट इज गोइंग टू बी क्योंकि कोई फैमिली में और नहीं था टू गाइड यू बट एक दिन समबडी केम होम that person didn't guide me but actually pushed me to pursue my dream who was that that was an uncle and auntie in my apartment they go, came over to my house and they told my dad ki iska nahi hoga okay and it's very difficult we have seen people she won't be able to do it you better start collecting money so my dad is a service class person and he was told to collect some lakhs of money because they were quite sure that i'm not going to do it so he would need a lot of money to make me into a doctor that didn't really motivate me as i said it pushed me knocked me down really hard because i just overheard this conversation and i cried and cried quite a lot but then decided to bounce back i said okay if this is what he has to say i'll do it i'll prove that i can do it and i worked really hard and when i say i worked really hard it didn't come without compromises and i'm sure you have been through such phases as well to reach where you are today isn't free of compromises yes finally i joined mbbs right in my first go in lady harding medical college jahan pe lakhon mein nahi 
सिर्फ पांच सौ रुपए में मैं डॉक्टर बन रही थी एंड आई गेव इट बैक टू दैट अंकल एंड आंटी हु लेटर केम बैक टू माई पेरेंट्स टू आर्ट सेम कि उनकी बेटी को भी गाइड कर दो यस दैट वॉज वन बिग चैलेंज एंड वेन आई रिमेंबर दीज इंस्टेंसिस टूडे आई कैन स्टिल क्राइड बिकॉज यू नो द लास्ट थिंग यू वॉन्ट टू सी इज योर पेरेंट्स बींग पुश बिकॉज ऑफ यू वॉट वॉज द सेकेंड इंस्टेंस दैट चेंज मी एज अ पर्सन सो फ्रॉम एट टू ट्वेल्थ एज आई सेड आई रियली वर्क हार्ड गेव अप ऑन एवरी थिंग जिस बिकॉज आई लेबल्ड माई सेल्फ एज एवरेज और बिलो एवरेज सो आई थॉट कि मुझे तो मेहनत ही करनी पड़ेगी अगर यहाँ तक पहुँचना है तो सो वी गेव अप एवरी थिंग एवरी थिंग मीन्स एवरी थिंग बट फाइनली रीच किया फिर यहाँ रैगिंग हो रही थी होती थी हमारे टाइम में भी आपके टाइम में अठन्नी चवन्नी हुआ है क्या ओके सो अठन्नी वज अ राइट झुमका चवन्नी वज अ लेफ्ट झुमका एंड देन सडनली वन ऑफ माई सीनियर्स केम अप एंड सेट भाई कैट वॉक करके दिखा एंड then another batchmate of mine who is very sick yeah said you have to go on your four limbs and you know you have to walk like a cat on your four limbs and you said okay so we did we started to do that the senior said acha bahut smart ban rahi hai theko nahi pata cat walk kya hota hai sach mein nahi pata tha ki were they really wanting us to do the cat walk or was it really the walk on the four limbs and that's how it started and then suddenly they said we selected you for the fast team <laughs> and i swear by god when i say that till the day i joined this college i had not been to a parlor oh. yes and that's truth my seniors actually took me to gol market and got me sort of into the thought process and i said ram fork me was us na bahut you have to be really beautiful you have to have the the best figure the best of everything to be on that stage to do what you have to do so but then okay if it's the seniors have decided i'm going to be a part of it so let it be that was the second challenge did i accept it yes i did i did i was miss copper miss slash wow. and I won every other best modeling competition, whether it was UC or AIMS or even the engineering colleges. And then I realized, अच्छा मैं ये भी कर सकती थी. Yes. So I'm glad I hear the roar from outside as well for various different reasons. But this was the second instance I realized that this was something that I never thought I could do because I was the studious kind. But I could do it, which means don't say no to opportunities that come your way. They're not going to be easy, and you might not consider yourself the best person for that opportunity. But believe me, if you work towards it, you can be the one. What was the third instance? First year chala gaya college ka, second year chala gaya fast food karte rahe. थर्ड ईयर आया क्लिनिक शुरू हुए सर्जरी पोस्टिंग थी अब ऐसा डिसाइड किया था कि सर्जन बनने का है आई ऑलवेज वॉन्टेड टू बी एन ऑब्सिटेशन सो वेन यू आर इन हार्डिंग दर ओनली टू काइंड ऑफ गर्ल्स वन हु लव ओ बी जी वाई वन हु हेट ओ बी जी वाई देर इज नो मीडियम कैटेगरी यस सो आई वॉज इन दी लवर साइड फॉर वट एवर रीजन So I decided अच्छा मुझे surgeon बनना है और audition ही बनना है. So now start my surgery process. And because I decided I want to be a surgeon, somehow you already start looking up to yourself as if you are really the surgeon. So uh, me and my friend we were given a case of diabetic foot. Okay, this is my first posting. RML में लगती थी तब हमारी posting. Do you still go there? Yes, sir. Right. So. So fifth floor, diabetic foot. Me and my friend row number twenty twenty one started taking the case. First year resident Aya, who has been diabetic foot, got debridement. Shuru kar diya. Ab jo usne debridement shuru kiya, main behosh ho gayi. Aur dil gayi. Thodi der baad meri friend ne uthaya, and I made all sorts of bahana. Ya nasta nahi kiya tha. 
फाइव नोट साइन किए थे प्रॉब्लम आई विथ हाइपोग्लाइसी में एंड यू आर ट्राइंग टू हाइड and then i was really made fun of because i had a close group who knew i wanted to be a surgeon they said to change sir branch ye tu nahi kar payegi tu dekha hai you see a case and you just seeing dressing being done and you fail how in the hell are you going to operate it was a challenge something that again knocked me down because after getting into mbbs the other dream i had was to become a surgeon so what did i do did i step back No, I didn't. I was a day scholar throughout. Uh, we weren't given a hostel, so we didn't have as much fun. But still, we did have our share of fun. So next one month, I decided that okay, class eight o'clock should be over. I'll come one hour early to the hospital. For next entire one month, I came at seven a.m. in the morning to the surgeon surgery ward. and only assisted the first year resident in dressing i didn't do anything else he said why are you here why are you wasting your time you're going to do this you'll do it in intensive i said no but i have to do it right now i have to get used to of blood i have to get used to of necrotic tissue dead tissue skin and everything that i possibly want to see for the rest of my life so entire one month i came at 7 I did all the dressings of the ward, and I was a third-year student. Okay, so for me, I still overcame my fear. The third time that I was knocked down, but I I tried to overcome it, and I didn't change my dream. I changed myself for it. So you have to realize that every time you are knocked down, and you are being told. You can't do this. You can't do that. You're only good at this. You're possibly only good at that. Please take it up as an opportunity, not to prove to others, but to prove to yourself that no matter what comes your way, you're going to take it not as a challenge, but as an opportunity. And you will be surprised by the power you have within. believe me it is going to come through every single time so every time you step back and you give in to others you lose your power you're giving your power to someone else don't do that keep your power to yourself you will face many such instances from now on where you will probably be belittled for something or the other don't let it seep through in your mind don't let it become your reality that is an image someone else has created it's not real it's virtual the real image is the one that you will create for your own self yes the last and the fourth instance which changed me yet again so now i am an ogcn in lady harding medical college pretty boring person only do duties go back home do duties again and go back home and then came an opportunity where i was heading an institution obviously not alone not by myself but with, with other people around me so that matter dr sumail literally pushed me into it and he said he said why don't you teach you're so good at it and that was the time when i was preparing for my mrcod exams so i said acha padh to rahi hu padha bhi dungi so i started to teach which was still okay but then suddenly you were also supposed to lead an institution you were supposed to keep people together you were supposed to do administrative work you were supposed to do academic work you were supposed to teach you were supposed to do your clinics you're married you have a child you live in a joint family so which means women wear a lot of hats you do as well and with every single hat you keep your head held high don't think of it as a hat think of it as a crown you don't have to be bookish beautiful bookish intelligent or whatever those definitions are you just have to wear the single most important accessory for your life what is that girl confidence yes please don't leave that accessory anywhere Whenever you step out, 
the world is your stage you have to move as if you're wearing the crown not the hat of responsibility it should come in your attitude it will automatically come in your aptitude because you are bright people yes so these were the four biggest instances in my life where i felt and a lot of people around me made me feel like i couldn't do it but to my surprise every single time i could do it and if i can i believe anyone else can because i i really didn't have anything special so please remember this you really don't have to be special to be special just be yourself identify your forte identify the many many pluses that you have in your personality and then move as if you own the world yes so i want all of you who are heading into a new life today to make this promise not to me but to yourself but no matter whatever comes your way you'll have an attitude of yes yes i can i will and i'll show the world yes are you all ready for i won't say big challenges but big opportunities coming your way yes and no matter what branch you pursue i am very confident that you will do well because harding is a legacy okay it is a legacy and each one of you are carrying it forward and we as seniors feel overwhelmed and super joyous to see you to rise to various occasions you've conducted festivals you're running a hospital you're running your own self i mean what not you're doing everything that you can possibly imagine someone can do so hats off to all you girls you should be very proud of where you have come and where you're heading so as a senior as someone who you know this place means the world in terms of everything i not only decided what i wanted to be when i was in this place i actually made a life out of it so thank you so much for having me here after so many years in the internship event and it's very very nostalgic it's very overwhelming and i just wish loads and loads of good luck to each one of you may you always keep smiling shining and always wear the hat of confidence god bless you thank you so much